Okay, so you are digging a bunker underneath your shed, as any man will be during some point of his life. Well, then you have to face some challenges. So, let me show you what those are. At first, everything is quite easy. There is the occasional piece of concrete left over from the bomb-proof foundation of your previous shed that prevents you from pushing your shovel into the ground, but other than that, it's smooth sailing. To move the sand to the container, one could use a dumper like this one, which makes it of course a lot easier than doing it by hand. Luckily, here is just sand all the way down and you don't need any heavy hydraulic equipment to break things up. All you need is a lot of elbow grease. But at some point the hole becomes too deep and you need something to get the sand up and into the dumper. Luckily you know someone who knows someone that has a screw conveyor that you can borrow. Of course the transportation of the equipment is quite a hassle, but with help from your dad it's eventually done. Now, a lot of people will ask you if you were inspired to build this bunker by Colin First's tunnel digging videos. Well, the short answer that you can give is no, because you planned to build this bunker long before he started his awesome project, but his videos were of course very inspiring and it definitely motivated you to go and build your own bunker and make videos about it. Anyway, at some point you might become so involved with digging that you forget that the electric motor could overheat when it runs almost continuously for two and a half hours, and then it happens. The following clip is a reconstruction because someone forgot to film the real thing.
This is not good. Look at all that smoke. So then you take the motor apart and yes, you conclude that the motor is indeed burnt. Luckily your dad knows a place where they can rewire the stator. In the meantime, it might be wise to think about installing a thermal protection device to prevent the same thing from happening again. Because let's face it, it will happen again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now the big question. How do you prevent the shed from sinking into the ground when you are digging underneath it? Luckily you thought about that before you built this shed and you made sure that the foundation of this shed sits on 10 250 mm diameter, 3 meter long reinforced poles with bottom caps on the rebar to prevent it from sinking into the sand and thus preventing concrete degradation. Now you can dig freely underneath your thick concrete floor, which has extra rebar to make it nice and sturdy. The only thing you need to be careful with is that the sand walls don't collapse and bury you before the bunker is finished, but that is something for a later video. Of course you wonder, why didn't I build the bunker before building the shed? But you had good reasons. You were on a time budget because your better half didn't want the garden to look like a wasteland for a long time. And of course you agreed with her. To save time you could have contracted someone to dig it for you, but as it turned out that would have cost you around 9000 euros just for digging the hole. This is of course a ridiculous amount of money, which was the spark you needed to come up with the current plan, which is actually also the most fun option. Now what to do with all this space when you are done? Is it going to be a man cave, a bomb shelter or just a space for storage? It is all possible. Maybe at some point you become crazy enough to tunnel to your house, who knows? Anyway just enjoy these endless potential possibilities. Ok so a special thanks goes out to my 6 Patreons, so thanks a lot for your support. And you can also become a Patreon and enjoy all the nice extras. Thanks for watching. Ah yes, hardhead. Also not a bad idea.